night guys and gals it's miss jill and i've got another um video with a good dessert that we're going to whip up here and i've kind of already started it because it's a kind of a process so we're going to stop and come back so i will tell you what we're making um as you can see i have some sliced up strawberries here and i had a frozen pie crust so we're going to make us a strawberry pie and this is a very very simple recipe and I'll tell you what I've started doing. Um, I've already washed my hands, cleaned my surface for where I'm cooking, and I started preheating my oven. Like I said, my ingredients that we have is my deep dish pie crust, and I don't make my pie crust. If you are handy dandy and can do that, by all means do that. But I love the, um, the Patriots pie crust that you can get in the grocery store, and to me, they taste just as good. So I'm waiting for my oven to preheat and I've got my pie crust and what I did, I just started preheating my oven and I poked the holes in the pie crust so it don't rise, it'll be flat once it bakes. I've got one pack of the three ounce Jello, strawberry Jello, and of course my strawberries, uh, one pound of strawberries but I've already sliced them up as you can see, and sugar, cornstarch, and water. So the first thing that I started doing was preheating my oven. And then after you preheat the oven to bake my pie crust, I started preparing in a saucepan. You do, um, it's a cup of water, a cup of white sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and your strawberry gelatin powder. So you have to get that to a rolling boil on the stove. So that's why I went ahead and started it before the video. So you all can kind of see what we got going on here and you have to boil it I think a couple minutes once it comes to a rolling boil and I did that because this has to cool and so does the pie crust it has to cool as well before we start putting together our strawberry pie so um I do have some whipped cream that I always top mine with um just the spray whipped cream when I slice my pie I don't put it on on the top because like I said we'll have to let the pie crust cool and the strawberry gelatin cool before we can put it all together and then you have to put it in the refrigerator and let it set and it usually takes a couple hours for that to set so i'm starting it now in hopes that after dinner time and before i go to bed when i want my bedtime snack that my pie will be ready so i told you that i preheated the oven and baking my pie crust and you just bake it to the temperature 400 degrees um let's see 11 to 14 minutes until lightly browned and you have to let it cool so i just start checking it at 11 minutes and get it to the way that i know that i like it. it's usually about 12 12 and a half minutes that i let mine bake so we got that and um the gelatin is starting to boil so i'm going to grab the camera and i'm going to bring it over to you guys and i will print this recipe like i said it was a cup of water a cup of white sugar three tablespoons of cornstarch and your strawberry small straw box of strawberry jello that goes in there that you just boil together um your pound of strawberries and a pie crust and that's it and that's very simple and it's very very good but i'm going to show you because our stuff is starting to boil what we got going on and then we'll pause until everything cools and then i'll come back to you guys as we're um i'm just kind of whisking it together that's what you're supposed to do and uh, once it cools and my pie crust bakes and cools then um, I'll come back to you guys and we'll put it together and show you what it's supposed to look at like all right guys see you in a few okay guys we are back and my pie crust is cooled here so I've had it sitting on my cooling rack and so has our gelatin mixture it has cooled so what we're going to do is just drop our strawberries into our pie crust and like i said this was a whole pound of strawberries just cut up you can see and again my hands have been clean this time while i've been in my kitchen and you just put them in the bottom of your pie crust like that and then you take your gelatin mixture and you just start pouring it over the strawberries and I try to do it just to get in the little crevices and the corners there so everything will be coated. And this doesn't gel up like really thick like Jello. It just gels up enough to give it a really, really good taste. 
So we do that and just kind of move it around. And I'm gonna show you what we're working with. All right, there you go, and that's what it looks like. And I'm just gonna cover it and put it in the refrigerator, and you're supposed to refrigerate at least two hours to let everything set. So we will see in a couple hours how good it is, and I hope you guys enjoy this great, great strawberry pie.